everybody, how's it going? Moving the mic a little bit closer. Cat's trying to rub his face on it. How's everyone's Tuesday today? We had a new map that opened up last time. Hi, Ben. Cat, how are you for at the start of stream today? We're going to go in the direction of that map. Today we're playing Metroid Prime 3, Legend of Ligaia, and Final Fantasy X. Nice. Hey, Chaos, Kami, Andrea, Leon. How y'all doing? Hi, Ben. Yep. Rub your face on my face. Great. Uh, I think we want to go forward and then left, yeah. Is there anything else worth hitting in here? Yeah, forward and then left. There might still be an area we can go to where we can grab that uh, giant stone head to teleport over, but we go left. Here, <laughs> oh yeah, these bastards. go I did not know now he's rubbing his face in front of the let me Ben hey Renex how you doing good to see you I didn't know. doesn't put his body in front of the uh, Wiimote go. hey dark star how you doing I think I opened with hey dark star but okay <laughs> all right Let's go left. I did not. I will likely not. Oh, jump. I saw the post about uh, the Diablo announcements, though. That seems pretty exciting. More stash base. It sounds like they're doing some what might be like static dungeons. It's hard to tell from their wording. I think they called them set dungeons. Ah, gotcha. That sounds right. Hey, Rainx, how was your weekend? Did it say I'm not online? Oh, jeez. I'm not hosting somebody, am I? I don't think so. Yeah, no hosting. I don't know. Let's pop back out. This is the new the wreckage of the Valhalla. Hmm. Hey, Bob. What's that about, uh, Streambot? Yeah, hey, weird cast. Hey, I finished that slow cooker recipe last night. It was, um, it was really simple. It was just, like, two bottles of ginger ale, some pork shoulder, and then mix with, uh, Sweet Baby Ray, hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. Ended up being really, really good. Recommend it. I think there's another version that uses Dr. Pepper, but Andrew is super into ginger ale. The lack of big death penalty in Amnesia is definitely a plus for it, I would agree. That's part of what makes Silent Hill so stressful, but there's almost no death penalty at all in Amnesia. And you also don't have to save on your own. It does everything through auto-saving, which is good. Had beer can chicken before my parents used to make it really really good. Alright. We've been here at all, have we? Or is this the ship that we started on? 
Hmm. So this, this may have been the ship we started on. Cool. Now carrying two energy cells. <laughs> All right. Damn it, Daniel. Oh, there's stuff back here. Let's see what all this shit is. Floating debris. Stiletto fighter destroyed. Okay. At least that's reasonable about the distance. Space pirate destroyer. Yeah, this was the ship we started on, wasn't it? Damage in combat. Dr. Pepper one's really good. Yeah, cool. Try that next time. Okay. Got that. Done. Pop in here. Schedule today, we're playing Metroid Prime 3 for two hours, followed by Legend of the Gaia and then Final Fantasy X. We may be getting your Jimbo in Final Fantasy X today. It's pretty exciting. Data for an energy cell. Okay. Puncture wounds, sure. Now it doesn't display the data anymore. Right. Explosive blast was the cause. Oh, you know, I think we... So we already have two uh, energy cells. Maybe that data tells me a planet I can go to to get another one. And I, like, bring more of them, more and more of them back here as we go. Troopers life energy is completely drained. Ooh, it's like, uh, must have been hit by Metroids. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Ooh, I had to vaporize him. That's messed up. We got stuffs in here. Gel sack. Flights as a defense measure. Can explode and release venom. Okay. Mechanical arm has been blown apart. Units covered with weapons burns. Mini roid. Baby Metroids. Great. That's outstanding. So I needed to have a way to bring Metroids in. Think so. I don't know, I thought it was fun playing with Andrea. Honestly, if I were to do a full playthrough of it now, I don't think it would be so bad since it's not too trivial to gamify it. Once you realize that the monster can't spawn behind you and isn't just like walking around randomly, it's much less scary. Andrea, no. Liquid phase on. Can I like overload it with my own phase on? Can I just shoot it to death? Perk too. I think I have to overload it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Done. <laughs> awesome chaos. Jimbo's the man. Aeon I probably won't summon terribly often, but it's always good to have more Aeons. Make some of the fights later on a little bit easier if you have more beat sticks you can throw at the boss. A beat stick to throw at the boss. Now, is there any reason to come up here? Possibly not, but keep walking to see. Well, I guess it is worth coming up here. Get something. Another door, if nothing else. Probably have to wait for... Electricity to chill out. Jump. Yeah, it does have sticky feet. Sticky feet and it always growls when it's nearby. Cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to go this way. I think I want to check out that door down there. Which might end up just being a save point, but hey, let's figure that out. See it being either. One's probably a secret and one's probably progress. 
All right. These are our energies. Okay, I need more energy cells. Must construct additional pylons. Hey, Ganymede native, how you doing, man? Oh, okay, lets you know whether you found them or not. So this is this game's version of the artifact hunt in uh, Metroid Prime 1 and the key hunt in Metroid Prime 2. You get further and further based on the number of energy cells you found from other planets. That's pretty neat. Okay, you recover them and come back to this as a main base for wrapping up the game later. There must be a way to climb up there. It might be that ramp lifting up that lets us up there, though. Also gives them extra usage out of the basic design of this map. I mean, this is a different map, but obviously they've added a bunch of destruction to it. What a good Tuesday. <laughs> right, Chaos? Honestly, that game would be super freaky if the monster was just wandering around all the time and could just sneak up behind you at any time. Like, the big fear when you're, like, peeking around behind you to see if it's still following you is that it'll be right in front of you when you turn around and that never happens. Like, hiding in a corner for four or five seconds makes it completely despawn. Hmm, I don't know. I always try to gamify whatever I'm playing. Especially with, uh, horror games. <laughs> right, right. Energy grade at close range. Strong blast, got it. Stronger blast? Okay, I was gonna say. See if there's anything over in this direction. Probs not. Yeah, Silent Hill's not too bad actually, for that reason. As long as I'm ready with my weapon as I load into each room. Whoa. Shoot this thing. The fact that in Silent Hill. If I die, it takes me back to a save point, and that I actually can fight the enemy uh, makes it quite a bit scarier, because then I can fail to fight the enemy, I can input things incorrectly, you know? Right, can we open this? Probs not. Physical stress. I guess I can. Hey, Bucken. How you doing? Maybe I could put an energy thing in there. Let's see. It's offline. Probably need to hit all of them to get out of here. Let's do it. Be nice if I could like put one in and then take it out later. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can remove it once you place it. Awesome. Hopefully we'll get him. We're right outside the cave, so it's very possible. Is that a thing? No. Is it a shortcut? What does it represent? Maybe it leads to like a missile expansion or something. Hey, Spikey, how you doing? I don't know, man. I think uh, I think Silent Hill is scarier than Amnesia. In the same way that uh, Silent Hill 2 is scarier than Silent Hill Shattered Memories is another game where you can't fight the monsters. Can we destroy this? Oh no, I just roll through it. Makes sense too. How much do I need, Chaos? Do you remember? It's been a long time. 
I haven't been spending my money on anything. I have something in excess of like a hundred thousand. It's probably a uh, yeah store power to it. I'm sure. Well, they bring you back here early so you can start getting excited about finding energy cells in other planets. I think these things just blow up on you. Okay, yeah, I think I have something close to that. Should be fine. Always run around and fight some dudes in the dungeon that we're in. Make sure we have enough. Let's keep going. Now, Outlast might be a little bit different, because I don't think anything ever despawns in Outlast. I think you can always get caught by stuff. But Outlast is kind of the same thing, where you have a camera with limited battery that has like a night vision mode that lets you see in the dark. But the more you use it, eventually it runs out. And you can't run, you have to hide from stuff. Get bonus spheres if you triple his price. Cool. Probably have stuff I can go sell. I've got all kinds of items that I'm not using. Could bounce back over to the Calmlands merchant and sell some extra things. Yeah. No real jump scares in Amnesia. Like sometimes you'll turn around and you'll see the monster, but. Don't get me wrong, it's a good game. I look forward to I'll do a solo playthrough of it on stream at some point. Alright, let's back up. We should go back to Elysia now that we have the jumpy thing. Screw attack. Yeah, Cloud Reaver. Mm -hmm. We got pretty far on Sunday when we played. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan of uh, negative space in horror games. Like I've said before, with Silent Hill 2, you spend so much at the beginning of the game with nothing happening. Just dread. Okay. We want to go... Well, there's a couple places we can go to. We can try going this way, which we haven't done yet, but I don't think we we're supposed to yet. Well, maybe we can try it. There's like a room there we haven't climbed. It might be the room that the Aurora unit was talking about. Let's see. No, that's a dead end. We don't want to do that. Let's try the room with the uh, thermal door instead. We already did that. Right. Yep, this is where we want to be. Jump, jump. It sounds like they made some bad decisions, World of Warcraft, with, uh. Uh, what is it? Their most recent expansion, Warlords of Drainer. Didn't really add stuff that kept people wanting to play. Yeah, no problem, Cloud Reaver. Happy to help. We can do this, right? There we go. 
cool. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> yeah, right, Chaos. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the main cause of the WoW subscription decline is. It could be more free-to-play options. It could be an aging MMO player base that they're not really drawing in young kids to play the game the way that they did when it was first launched. And that the original player base is less and less interested. Yeah, they updated my uh, my bot this morning, so I made some changes. I mean, we're all dying, right? <laughs> it's no longer experiencing regular growth. Whether it's going to die anytime soon or not, probably will keep running for decades. What were the fundamental problems with uh, Warlord of Drainer? Yeah. It peaked at 11 million, I think. And like, you know, Kami's saying, it's, it's still pretty healthy. It's just that it's no longer in a growth period. Well, Buck, and I think I... Pretty strongly, fundamentally disagree with that. That any MMO that's not WoW is silly for trying to compete with it. There are lots of problems with WoW that competition would improve both for a new game and with making WoW a better game if it has to compete against other titles. So when it's the end all be all that Blizzard gets to do whatever they want, they don't have to respond to developments in the genre. Yeah. <laughs> MMO speak hyperbole. You. Oh, this guy's like supercharged. There we go. Ah, bollocks. Okay, I can still break through this. Good to know. Oop. Hey, people, thanks for the host. I appreciate that. Yeah, I feel like the player base maybe doesn't like having more and more content that requires them to log in regularly to have fun with the game. Dailies, garrisons are kind of the same thing. Log in and check on your guy. At least, I'm not a fan of that. I don't know how much the main player base responds to it. I think I like Prime 1 the best, followed by Prime 3 and then Echoes. Just from its most recent playthrough here. Handle with extreme caution. Done. Let's see... Lift his lock position, disable lock position on top floor to restore functionality. Okay. What do you say? Oh, it's a turret. To let it pop out before I can destroy it. Well, that's unfortunate. Boom. Alright. I found a door. I found a door. Their first time running into space pirates in this uh, planet, I think. Yeah, spiky. Well, I mean, you can think of them as that. I think that their intent is to not punish you for taking a break, but to give you a reason to play the game for a short amount of time. Right? To even the playing field between people who are just have time to play constantly and people who can only sign in once a day. So they have good intentions, but when that becomes the most efficient way to play your game is to log in every day and do something, it becomes really stressful for people, I think. I think that's the problem. I want to be able to break that window, but I don't think I can yet.
Mm, I think that might be a result of there being more reviewers as time has gone on, more so than the objective value of the two, you know? To the extent that they're going to be objective value. Alright, let's go. I mean, uh, raid lockouts are the same idea. The whole idea that you can only get the rewards from something once a week is intended to let players who can only log on once a week, you know, feel like they're not getting outpaced by people who can play 18 hours a day, but it ends up making you feel like you need to sign in once a week, which is uh, very different, I think. I don't know how you solve for that. Uh, the leave quest system that they have is actually pretty smart where they let you build up allowances every day and then if you log in for one super session you can do a whole bunch of them so letting you build up like daily quest allowances or uh, raid allowances for weeks that you don't log in would be very helpful I think to helping to solve that problem I think Final Fantasy 14 is the first game I've seen that does something like that novel solution come on Boom. Yeah, exactly, Cappy. It would be nice to just be able to play in whenever you feel like it, right? Repair bots. Yeah, eventually, can come back here, bust open that window, and get the uh, missile expansion. Jump. Really? There we go. Cool, Rainex. I think Fallout 4 is going to cause Battlefront to have awful sales. I don't know if those two games have the uh, the same market, right? And I'm sure there's some overlap there, but people who are really, really excited about Fallout or people who are excited about Western RPGs which isn't quite the same as like team competitive shooters. I see Cappy. What is this thing? Lift with ground by attaching something to the hook. Interesting. Magnetic rail can't be used. Bomb slots, tons of them. Searcher who wants to do the cosmos from here centuries ago. Gunship not equipped to carry out this command. Alright. There's something I'll have to do in here later. Whenever you see something that's open air, you should be suspicious that it might need to use the gunship. Alright, let's try going down this thing, see what we find. Is it a bomb slot? <laughs> Alright, Andrea. Neopets, the OG MMO. Oh, it's not turned on. Okay. Well then. Hey. Don't think I have the capacity to open these yet. Something I'm going to get access to later. We've seen a few of those. Chozo hand. I think all dailies should accumulate to something like a month to make you feel like you don't have to log in all the time. Ooh, fixing the circuits. This is a cool use of the Wiimote, I think. You use the plasma rifle to fix the damaged circuits. Thought that was clever. All right, what's up? Nice. 
Hey, True Dabber, how you doing? Yeah, right? Yeah, Neopet was different from Tamagotchi. A bit more uh, robust. I believe Neopets had a huge chunk of bandwidth, like, the way that Netflix does today, back when it was at its prime. I read an article about this on Reddit. <laughs> Welcome to Andrea, the scientist. It's an XKCD comic about uh, pressing a button that shocks yourself. Mm -hmm. I played a Korean MMO called Nexus when I was like maybe nine years old for about five years. Didn't play WoW until my roommate got into it during uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I played Wrath of the Lich King pretty seriously and then stopped after Old War. It got absurd. Played a lot of Final Fantasy XI. Had an addiction problem with Eleven, quit in the second expansion. Let's see. Let's go this way. FF11 was my never again MMO where I learned how to manage my uh, my time. There we go, I gotta press it earlier than it looks. Kaboom! Hey, good to see you, Dabber. How was your Halloween? Kill this thing. Junk. Nice. Really glad they brought back the screw attack for these two games. It's a cool mechanic. I was hoping so. There we go. Nice. Keep on moving. Spooktacular. <laughs> I'm pretty well. Um, we don't have trick-or-treaters over here, so we didn't get any candy. But uh, after Halloween, I went to our local grocery store and picked up... Oh, it's on the turret. It's already to be destroyed. Picked up those... Uh, pumpkin-shaped Reese's Cups. They're supposed to be like $17 for a giant bag, and they were marked down to $3. Don't ever buy Halloween candy before Halloween. All right, strong impact, got it. Cool. Heck yeah. I won't play Final Fantasy XI. No, I'm not gonna turn it on. But I might check out the, the 14 tribute when they do it, sure. I'm way too out of date for 11 anyway, like, I played on the PS2. I still have my HDD for that. Hey, thanks for the follow, Storm. Good to have you. Let's see... Can I cross here? I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to. Jump down, but it looks like death, right? Wait. Try to retract the trick. Yeah, retract the crate alarm. There we go. Got it. All right. Do that here. Gonna fall now or something? Ah, oh, it's gonna let us through. Neat. Jump. Nice bucking. Really, Andrea? <laughs> Gotta say trick or treat. Gotta say thank you, I mean, come on. I'm sure you guys saw that post on Reddit of the jerk kids taking all the candy from the... the bucket, and then this nice kid comes up and puts some of his own candy in there to make up for it. Lore, time passed slowly as we suffered through our bad dreams. This is the planet where there's a bunch of sapient robots created by the Chozo and left behind. We endured their visions till finally in year 1435, our automated defense systems were triggered. A number of aliens, well-armed and armored, had penetrated our battle screens and entered Elysia Station. 
Per protocol, we revived from stasis to defend our home. As we mustered for battle, the aliens communicated with us and declared themselves to be under the banner of peace. A truce was called, and soon we began negotiations with the Galactic Federation. The Treaty of Elysia began a new era of prosperity. I don't know, uh, Buckin. I might not, actually, since that game's going to be gigantic. It's going to be huge. Might not be the best game for me to play right on launch, so I might try to play it closer to uh closer to when I play through like the Fallout series in general. Maybe I'll in celebration of its release, I'll add it to the um the voting spreadsheet. Sort of changed my feeling on launch day streams given my current size for those really really big AAA titles that thousands of people are going to be playing. Unless if it's a game that I'm, like, really stoked for, I'm going to play anyway. Next week, we're going to do some Undertale. Probably give a day to it. See if we can beat it. Might do that on Monday, so we can run a little late if we have to. Andrea, heads up. Yes, exactly, Dauber. So I'll definitely do like launch day 3DS games. It's an easier call. Fallout 4 is probably too big though. It's, I expect it's going to be like, if not the number one game, close to the number one game on Twitch on launch day. Oh, that's right, you are at a conference. Alright, well, put some extra time for, uh, for Undertale, then. Cool, Dauber. I might need to appoint some deputy mods when I do Undertale. I understand it's got a lot of spoiler potential we want to avoid. StarCraft is going to be the same problem, though, right? It's already pretty high on the streamed list. We'll see about Metroid Federation Force. <laughs> Maybe it'll end up being a really cool game. It resulted in a lot of disappointment when it was announced. How you been, by the way, Marco? Good seeing you again. Agreement. The treaty brought us new supplies, fuel and parts from the Federation. In return, we allowed them to use Elysia Station as they saw fit. They were glad to use the station's powerful scientific systems and gleaned a great deal of knowledge from our databanks. Unfortunately, the harsh atmosphere of our world is dangerous for the Federation researchers. They proposed to replace the humanoids with a single artificial intelligence unit, which they called Aurora. Okay, so those are our robot brains. Samus, I will unlock this area, allowing you to command your ship to land. Thanks, girl. Ooh, ship upgrade system. Great, I wonder what we're gonna get. Looks like it gives the ship a grapple beam. That's kind of a neat idea of putting uh upgrades on the ship. Pretty sure most of the times I got stuck on this game, the first time I was playing through it is when I needed to use the ship for something, though. They don't always make it super obvious where you should be using it. Now I'm just cautious whenever I see open air, I assume that that's what I need to do. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Undertale. I think it'll be cool. Upgrade. Cool. I mean, I'm a fan of uh, Earthbound. And Homestuck. Apparently it has Homestuck references. Samus, now 
Which one's that, Rainex? Should also be able to do the shtick with the, uh, statue head. Okie dokie. They're all in this general area, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. I should probably go back and get that one first. And then just immediately turn around and come here. I think that makes sense. Is anyone shocked by that, Kami? <laughs> it's like, uh, what's the... Oh, Megalovania is in the game? That's a really good song, too, Dauber. Lots of good music, and, uh, I'm still... Well, when I say I like Homestuck, I have to be really careful. There are some very crazy, crazy, way too, way to end a Homestuck folks out there. Um, <laughs> I started reading it because I was reading uh, MS Paint Adventures, the Problem Sleuth arc a long time ago. Just thought it was funny. It was a cool kind of like Earthbound homage. But I guess, like, they have to make special rules and conventions for Homestuck cosplayers because they all wear that, like, gray troll makeup and get, uh, get stuff all over the bathrooms and things. Probably won't see the part with Megalovania. Hey, Dehan, how you doing? You even have some in your school, wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's rough, right? It's really rough when uh, the fan base for something makes you feel like you have to distance yourself from the fan base to enjoy the product. You really shouldn't have to do that. It's really hipstery too, right? To be like, oh, I liked that before it was cool, but I know I think fans of the band Tool have this problem. Tool fans are pretty pretentious and all over the place. Uh, talked about my Little Pony, like, parents who watch this cute cartoon with their kids and enjoy it have to distance themselves from the psycho bronies. It's too bad, it's a good show. It's like, no one has any problem saying they like Powerpuff Girls. Why wouldn't you like My Little Pony? Yeah, exactly. They do. I think... Earthbound is a little bit more chill. Maybe just because it's a little bit more niche or something, but there are fans that are just a little too rabid. Scare you away from it. Mm hmm. I hear you, Dabber. Junk. God, it's harder to see where the bullets go. It's my fault. That was close. <laughs> That's weird, Rainex. That's super weird. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we're gonna jump down and go around here. Several decades passed for the Chozo here at Elysia. The harsh winds and storms began to take their toll on the station, and upkeep began to take up more and more of their precious time. Seeing a need for assistance, they created us. Okay. First Elysian built by Chozo Hand stepped out of the Mechanicrish. Oh, cool. Crewed by our current standards, the first was soon given the greatest gift by all of the Chozo. Better assist creators, the first was given self-awareness. 
I like that they have these, like, this is a cool story about the creation of artificial intelligence, right? Usually there's, like, a scary one. Oh, they rebelled. Like, no, these guys were cool about it. Skip those things. They're kind of a pain in the butt to fight. Yeah, this is the Wii U Metroid Prime Trilogy. That's correct. All right, so there's a thing I can pick up here. Let's go grab it. Kaboom! Yeah. Seems to be the standard interpretation by most science fiction writers. I have a Throdian transport module. Come on, game. What are you talking about? I have one. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Boo earns. So it's not that I can't transport it yet, it's that I don't have the thing to do it. Well, where is the nearest shippy thingy from here? Back down, I think. Maybe on my way to get the other ones, I'll find the thing that lets me shoot multiple blasts at the same time. I see. I see. That's too bad. Let's head back then. Remember that that's the one that has the locks, the one we have to fly to in the different area of the map. Jump. Mm, Jaden, careful telling me what the items are in this game. But no, I don't. I don't have the item that lets me shoot it multiple times. Work on getting that now. Ow. Do that again. So these guys, the little bombs are much easier to take out. And you've got the floating targets. Come on. There you go. Jump. Still enemies here, right? Yeah. Robo Shriek Bats. Yeah, that's really cool. I know they had a lot of fans doing Homesuck music. Glad they made it. I know that uh, the Homesuck guy is working on creating a video game for it. That could be pretty cool, too. Alright, let's try this again. Flying back to the previous map. We're just going to try to move backwards from where we got the grapple. Oh, is Twitch Lay short today? No, they're working on deploying that beta more globally. I don't have it turned on, so certain streamers can turn on a stream delay reduction beta. Um, it's usually not advised for non-partnered streamers to do it, because it can increase your buffering. So I don't have it turned on right now. Cool. Hey, I got to skip part of the cutscene. Look at that convenience. Oh yeah, Kami. The HTML5 player. I've had weird issues with um, ads since the HTML5 player, and I've seen lots of posts on the Twitch subreddit talking about 
player latency. 10 seconds isn't bad. Not at all, actually. Nice. That didn't work quite as well as I wanted it to. Oops. Stop shooting me, dude. Not cool. There you go. Let's see. Kill these dudes. We already scanned that guy. Cross here, though. I think we can pick this one up right away. Right? This is one, isn't it? Yeah, totally is. Where are we supposed to scan it, though? Hmm. You know, it will remain in place, okay? Is there a way to, like, climb up this room somehow? There must be. Yeah, it looks like it. Now let's go out the other side and see if it lets us up somehow. Oh, right, this is, like, the thing that we looped around. Absolutely. Dead. When we get up to the roof of it, we should be able to pull it out, I think. I do have the dongle, yes, Dauber. Thank you for referencing me to it again. It's quite cool. Like the one ring. Oh, cool. Let me get to that uh, upgrade now. There we go. <laughs> Make my life a little bit easier. Got the extra health, and you get some back after you kill them anyway. Cool. I like it. It tries to simulate the Xbox controller. Uh, like uh, PS, the PS4 like software, it's not quite as plug and play. Hmm. Did I use this before to climb up there? I don't even know if I was able to access this previously. Oh, I don't think I want to go this way just yet. I think I still want to climb up here. Which I think I still have the ability to do. Go back in. Alright, let's take a close look. Yeah, we should be able to climb up in here somehow. Vader is unable to be repaired. Oh, I see. That's previously how we got up there. Mostly been using a Xbox 360 wireless adapter. There's gotta be, there's another way into this room for sure. I'll try crossing and see if I can climb it. It might be that I'm not supposed to do this one yet. Because the elevator's broken now, right? It says there's a room above me, but there's no way for me to get up there, is there? There indeed there is not. Alright, well, we'll keep moving. Probably need to go to the furthest one. Pretty sure Spikey's right, and we have to get these in a very specific order. Yeah, because this thing used to be an elevator that we could take up, and now it's stuck. So we will come back here. Jump, jump, jump. This one, well, we'll see. 
go get that one first, and then there's a white door there we weren't able to get to before that might let us cross over back on the top side. Pick up that bomb. <laughs> I still have a stock of batteries that I bought in bulk from Costco, like, years ago. I have this huge uh, box full of Kirkland batteries. Whenever they die, I sub them out. It's a good argument for wired controllers a lot of the time, just because of the reduced latency. I already have so many USB devices plugged into my computer now, though. Like, I've got a hub and everything. Got the webcam, got the 3DS capture card. It's just all over the place. Here we go. About time. Awesome. This is a quick schedule update. We're playing uh, Metroid Prime 3 for another hour, and then we're doing Legend of Ligaia from 2 to 4, and Final Fantasy X from 4 to 6. Let's go fix this thing. Cool. All right. Rechargeable batteries and working out for you, Cloud Reaver. Oh, that's pretty good, Dob uh, yeah, Dobber. I've never had an issue with latency. I mean, I don't play any games that are twitchy enough that latency matters, right? So, it's usually one of those things, where, like, if you're playing a game where it's that twitchy that latency matters, you should probably just be using a mouse and keyboard anyway. Hmm. Use the projector control unit to activate the projector. How do I do that, though? Tend to, like, lower the thing back down? I think I need to lower it back down. Hold on. Let's try and activate it here. That's pretty nice, Cloud Reaver. Dark Souls. I suppose that's true. I'll definitely be playing Dark Souls. That'll be with the uh, PlayStation 3 controller, though. I won't be messing around with the uh, PC version of that one. Maybe Dark Souls 2 will do the PC version. But you have to do all these hacks to the PC version of Dark Souls 1 just to make it playable, and even then it's got issues. Alright, let's try this again. Go with the bomb slot. Jump. There we go. Hey, Marcello. How you doing? Alright, let's see what we learn from this thing. Whoa. All kinds of things to interact with. We're getting a spider ball soon? Jump. Yeah, we must be. Offline due to circuit malfunction, okay. Yeah, there is a update today to my bot that let me add some more. Let me customize it a little bit. Pretty exciting. Depot's actually been pretty good about updating their uh, their tool. Got about a weekly update now on Monday nights, Tuesday mornings. They've added a few things that I asked for. 
now you can uh, update your note without having to be removed from the queue if you're joining a queue for Smash Brothers or somebody forgets to add their friend code. That's pretty useful. Container can be pulled from the wall. Let's do it. Looks like the Chozo artifact. Oh, cool. Platform. What's this guy? It's bioengineered platform created by the Chozo, often planted on other planets. Right on. I guess we want to see that. That's like the reason it looks like the Chozo artifact is it's letting us know that the Chozo left it here for us. Um, I might want to finish exploring this area before I jump up there. So one sec. Get me to skip something. No, oh, well, maybe not. No, this way. I didn't go this way yet. What's in this door? Save room. Cool. Thought I saw something to use the morph ball on. Indeed, I do want to save. If you just joined us today, hey, I'm Marsted. I'm, uh... Trying to play through and beat every awesome single-player game ever made, live on stream, knowing that there's too many to beat them all in one lifetime. Working through the Metroid series, we've beaten Metroid Prime 1 and 2. After 3, we're going to switch over to uh, Super Metroid and Metroid Zero Mission. Those great games. If you're just here for Metroid, check the schedule. Usually it'll be a Monday-Tuesday affair. Happy to have you. Otherwise, we're also playing through like the Zelda series, Final Fantasy, Kyria Chronicles, Mass Effect, and so on. Jump. I think I might need this to get to that missile expansion we saw. Yeah. Nice. Alright. I found a secret. I found a secret. I found a secret. Hey, 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 hey. Ow. Hey. Jump. Can we fix this thing now? Unable to be repaired. Great. All this to get on the top floor of this thing. Don't think we've had a chance to scan this one yet. Aurora. Aurora. Okay, that's the brain computer. Aurora is placed within one of our floating pods and connected to the station's network. This connection allowed Aurora to control not only the facility, but us as well. Our link allowed us to reap the benefits of the Aurora's own connection to the Federation's Aurora network. Units were capable of communicating with one another regardless of the distance, and vast amounts of information were passed down to us. As the years went by, we aided the Aurora and our Federation allies in their research. We studied potential enemy threats and collected data on their activities. It was, in some small way, a means to atone for our inability to help our creators years ago. Through our alliance with the Federation, we were able to prevent many disasters and bring an end to numerous threats in the cosmos. Oh man, I want to play the game that's about the robots on the Elysian planet going out and preventing threats to the cosmos. That sounds pretty cool. It'd also be fun to play a Metroid game where you play as a different character that doesn't have Samus's upgrades, but kind of goes through the same sort of environment. See someone that uses a different upgrade to get through like the, we typically know as the morph bomb rooms. Whoa. What's your deal? Are you like an Omega pirate or something? Berserk alert. Oh, right, we fought these before. Don't think I've busted it yet. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Shoot your little orbs at me again. Ow. Those aren't your orbs. Those are your orbs. Okay, what's your deal now, buddy? Come on. Nope, that's not it.
Viable attach point for the ship grapple beam. Let's kill this thing first, though. Come on, shoot your little purple ball at me. No, you want to. There it is. Alright, hyper mode. That is my jam. Start using it more often in these fights. Really speeds things up. Hatches are locked. Manual override necessary. That's what these things are going to be, right? Boost ball? Yeah, spinners. Let's do it. Move all the hatches. Clamps. Nice. Hey, Sean, how you been? Good seeing you again. So we go one, two, three. All right, can we call it in now? Yeah. Right. What are we gonna do down there, I wonder? Oh, is this just a shortcut, maybe? Might be just a shortcut. I think we've been here before. No, maybe not. Still need to get this question mark here. Maybe we can do now, though. Let's keep going forward and see what we find. Oh, uh, yeah, no, this is... This feels new. I th even though we've been here before, it must have changed the format of the rooms. Aha! Oh, you don't have to be very precise if you go over the edge. I wasn't sure on how that would work. What did that connect to? It's this guy. It's like Phazon. Cables are flowing with energy and supply power to the nearby elevator system. Oh. I think that's what we did. We fixed the elevator. The so-called unrepairable elevator. Yeah, right? Your character turning is completely independent from your movement of the weapon. It's pretty natural, though. I like it. I guess you can turn by moving the weapon all the way to the side, but it's much more convenient to try to turn with the stick. Okay. Ah, I think this is where we want to be. Let's climb higher up, though, first. Just go up or down. This goes outside. We don't want that. Try going this way. That does nothing. Okay. How about this way? Might end up having to go outside to get around. Ah, disregard. Up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Kind of lift object with the locks engaged. Okay, we have to find the locks then. How do we remove them? Simultaneous blast to all targets is required to disengage the locks. 
Well, we don't have that capacity to do a simultaneous blast at all targets yet. Oh man, you never played any Metroid games? Not even like the 2D ones? Try taking the Sky Tram over. Missing out, man. It's a great series. Yeah, I gotta try to dork around and see if I can find the item that lets me shoot multiple targets at once. That's not the way we want to go. Wait, is there another door that I have an access down there? Yeah, there's a thermal door that I haven't been in. Let's take that one. Maybe it takes me straight to where I get this item. Ooh, yeah, I see both of those. There's an ice door I haven't gotten to and a fire door. Yeah, cave story is quite good. Save the lock mechanism on the top. I don't think I can get up there at all just yet. That's a blue door. Let's see if we can get to that orange door at the bottom. Mm -hmm. This one, right? No, I think we have been here. Oh no, maybe not. Let's keep going around. Let's see. Try to confirm whether this is familiar or not. This isn't. This is all new. Hey, Joe, man. Good seeing you. No, no, no. This is totally new. Awesome. Hopefully this will get us a new item if we continue in this direction. Let's... Screw attack across after we kill this jerk. Boom. Ow. Jump. Oh, does this thing like rotate the whole time we're here? Let's see if I can. No, it's just stuck. Okay, the other ones must though. Cave story is really good. I think you'd like it. Jump. Uh, I'm supposed to screw attack there. That one's on you, Mario. <laughs> well, I think you have to press the button a little bit earlier than it looks like. All right, get over across this way. After this thing's out of our way, jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, being able to lock on enemies helps with that for sure. Yeah, brittle husker means, uh, we know that means that there are Metroids nearby. Severe trauma sustained to the cranial region. Yeah. These Chozo? There's some kind of other creature. They don't look like Chozo. Numerous back windows against the truck was fleeing before being attacked. Great. What a cool way to build dread that you're about to deal with some Metroids, right? You don't have to scan them. Let's try going this way first. Save room. Perfect. Cave Story, Link to the Past, and Mother 3. That's a strong top three games. From three pretty different genres, too, I'd say. Yeah, I should I should probably get Cave Story on the voting list at some point. Really good game. And the one that I played quite a bit of but never beat. Fun to actually finish it. Crippled during combat. Unable to see fleet reach. Life force has been siphoned. Wait, really? Oh shit. Two hours ago? Great. 
assault rifle runes from a friendly unit, so probably while they were getting their brains sucked out. Killed by multiple attackers. This needs the upgrade that we're looking for. Don't think I got to the sacred grounds now. The save room also builds dread, yeah. Unknown cell tissue. Yeah, you should play Earthbound. Um, you can get your hands on it. If you have a Wii U, get it on the virtual console. Emulate it if you have to. Oh, it looks similar to the Talon 4 bioforms. That was the planet from the first game. Uh, these look like Metroid containment facilities. Okay, we want to get that shut off so we can get the energy tank. This game's version of a heart container. Hey! There's a Metroid. What's up, buddy? They look cool in this game, too. They do something similar with building Metroid Dread in uh, Metroid Prime 1. Like how they don't let you scan them right away, either. Let's deal with this door. Nearby spinner system. Oh, I see it. Is it like, it's like an airlock? Yeah, I thought so. Too tough or too easy? Is it like one of those? I think there's a classification of boss fight where it's like really hard if you don't know what to do. Really easy if you do know what to do. And it's probably fine to have bosses that are that way. Puzzle fights. Yeah, same here, Dauber. If I were to think of my top 10 games, they wouldn't be in a specific order. A lot of games are kind of apples and oranges. It's hard to compare them directly. It's like a containment door, though. If you want to move through, you have to lock out the ones behind you. Actually, if you read the, the Dungeon Master's Guide for... Dungeons and Dragons, it talks about if you're trying to assess the difficulty of an encounter you're providing to your players, that that's one of the difficulties you might assign something as, say, you know, difficult if you don't know what to do, easy if you figure it out. It's totally fine to occasionally have fights like that. Oh, cool. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Huh. Cool. down here yet. Probably gonna have to fight a boss to get whatever the item is. Gonna have to find our way out of here. Wondering if the Metroids are gonna be weak against uh, phase on attack or not. Hey Reaper Cheap. Good seeing you again. How you doing? Mm hmm Yeah. And they're they're apples and oranges, true dauber. They can all be really good games though. Oh, so I have to turn off the containment units to get my power up. <laughs> of course. That's cool. So you go all the way at the end to get your power up and you realize that you're removing the thing that keeping the Metroids in. There's an energy cell, of course. Nice. Oh, cool. And then it's dark, too. Great. And they close the door behind you. That's good conveyance. Make sure you understand how to use the item. Ah, oh, it's just glass. This might handle the, oh god, Metroids. Dread building better than Metroid Prime 1 and 2. It's all show, don't tell, right? You just know as soon as you pull out that energy cell what you're about to have to deal with. Cool. Cool. These little bugs. Steam spiders. Like little repair spiders. 
Yeah, right? The music. You can see in the reflection that Samus, the corruption from all the phase on that keeps getting injected into her suit is her new effect her face. Go. <laughs> it's freaky, but it's still like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm Samus, I can handle this. Ah, uh, they're all below you. Cool. Phase on Metroid can phase out a local time space vulnerable to extreme cold. That has been true since the original Metroid. Metroids are weak against cold. Kind of cool. Hey, D Rock. Good to see you, man. Oh, what's up, buddy? Boom. Get him. Yeah, it's kind of cool. They never, like, directly draw attention to it, but if you're paying attention, you notice it. Kind of cool way to build the story. I really like that about uh, Metroid Prime. Metroid in general, but Metroid Prime is really good with Show Don't Tell. These things are immune for a while. Don't want to get in my head. The way you deal with them has been the same since the original Metroid as well. You have to freeze them, and then if they... Oh, come on. Keep phasing out of my missiles. There we go. They suck onto your head. You have to, like, morph into a morph ball and use bombs to blow them up. That could be pretty cool, Kami. Yeah, I'm hopeful too. What's the gameplay supposed to be like in Federation Force? What kind of game is it? Is it like Hunters? Hey, what's up, buddies? Like, you have to shoot them when they're trying to fly into your face. There you go. Cool. We don't have any official information on the NX. Don't even know if it's going to be a real system or not. So I'd wait until that's actually announced. I think the Wii U is a worthwhile purchase right now. It's a really cool system. It's got a decent set of uh, exclusives and it's got a really robust virtual console offering. And uh, if you're interested at all in local multiplayer, some of the asymmetrical multiplayer experiences you can have are a lot of fun. Like. Um, can I not open this? Shut down. Come on, let's see. Permanently sealed. Alternate route must be found. Okay. Maybe I can go a different way now that these are blown up. Ah, that's what this is for. Well, Kami asked a good question. Is there anything you're excited for, like Smash or the like? Twilight Princess HD is going to be pretty cool if it actually comes to fruition. Yeah, you got to be careful trying to shoot these guys. They phase. Come on. Charge at me. You know you want my brain. and charge at me. Come on, you know you want it. Healthy Samus brain right here. Can I just shoot them to knock it out of it? Or maybe I can hyper beam them. Yeah, that works too. Good to know. Kaboom. Do that for the future. Do you think backwards compatibility should be phased? I guess it holds the system back a little bit. Like, 
it's easy for uh, gamers to demand and expect backwards compatibility on every system, but it requires a lot of hardware to be able to play the previous system's games. I mean, we are seeing an issue where next generation games are being released for the older system as well at the same time for an obscene amount of time after the release of the next generation system. And that holds back the, the console quite a bit. If you have to make every Xbox One game playable on the Xbox 360, why bother having an Xbox One? Backwards compatibility is a why don't they just kind of a thing, a feature that people want. A lot of the gaming community has an issue with this, saying why don't they just add this, why don't they just do that. Any sentence that starts with why don't they just, probably a good reason for it. Oh god. Come on, let me zap these guys to death. Fighting them the classic way is kind of a pain, we'll just use the hyper mode. Nope, haven't done three yet on stream, Luigi. How you doing? Uh, did we already scan this one? I think we did. Oh, maybe not. Approximately five months ago that our system detected a meteor-like object collide with our planet and nearby galaxy. The impact was followed by a spreading corruption identical to the one we saw devour our creator's planet. More so than ever, we were determined to aid the Aurora and discover the source of these objects. Months passed before we could uncover its origin and come through a wormhole from an incredibly distant planet. We studied this link between the Terran space and the location it was connected to. As we delved deeper, it became clear to us that this was the mysterious planet the Chozo searcher had been seeking. The living planet was aggressively attacking other worlds. Living planets are kind of a cool sci-fi concept. Hurtling parts of itself across the cosmos like missiles. It sounds like it's reproducing. We'd finally discovered the source of these corrupted meteors. It was about one month ago that we made our revelation, but all attempts at transmitting the critical data of the Federation were unsuccessful. It appeared the Aurora unit had become disabled. We tried desperately to restore it, but it had been corrupted by an unknown virus. Our only means of communication with the Federation were severed. Oh yeah, what don't you like about it, Luigi? I think I like this game quite a bit better than 2. Maybe about as much, maybe tied with Metroid Prime 1. Yeah, I hope the Pro Controller sticks around too. Big fan of it. I mean, let's let's be honest. If it if you could magically support uh, backwards compatibility for a system, I don't think anyone would be against having it, right? Like, I mean, if you could say, hey, let's make a, a Wii system that can play. Um, all the games for the Wii U, the Wii, the GameCube, the Super Nintendo, and so on, like, that would be fantastic. But I think Kami's point is that it's computationally expensive, it's hardware expensive, it can hold back the system and hamstring it if, uh, if you need to do that. Because, like, even the Wii U, it, for it to play Wii games, it has to run a Wii emulator. It actually pulls up a separate system in the game when you put in a Wii title. Now we got the thingy that we can shoot. It's up here, right? Chunk, 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 chunk. Another game that gives you a lot of reasons to want to get as many missiles as possible. Oh, come on. Missile upgrades aren't just for funsies in this one. One more we still have to hit. I have to find out how to get to it, though. Just keep looking around. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it didn't cost anything, just do it for everything. Ah. That's what this was all about. Aww. 
Really? Damn it, game. This is your last chance. You better hit it. There we go. Now we should be able to summon our ship to pick it up, right? There's still one more we have to pick up, but we should get it now. Yeah. Wii U Pro Controller is pretty great. I'm a big fan of it. It's definitely one of the more comfortable controllers made. Works with just about everything. Alright. Cool Samus doesn't look at bombs she just built. Alright, so we want to get back to our ship. What is the most efficient way to do that? Probably to go backwards from the way we're facing right now. No, this is just a useless hallway. You're a useless hallway. Ow. The console cycle concept. I think we might go this way. Looking for doors. We can also try going the other way. I think there's a, a port not far from there. Which way is this relevant? No, that's not going to take us there. That's back where the Metroids are. Go this way. Yeah, that is the Sky Tram. Okay, let's go down and take that path then. That's a little bit faster to get there. That's kind of where the game was pointing us before I want to drop this down here. We want to go this way, I think. Yeah. Check it. Should go around to the left, then we shoot over. Yeah, the 360 D-pad is really, really bad. I have one of those, uh, the pop-out D-pad, the silver 360 controller that they made. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Yeah, it depends on if you're playing games that really require an accurate D-pad or not. Usually it's good enough if you're playing a game that doesn't really demand use of the D-pad, but if you're playing like an old NES game using a 360 controller, it can be pretty noticeable. Yeah, I have that silver one. It's broken, unfortunately. Uh, one of my bumpers is busted and doesn't work. It's a shame, because it's a nice controller other than that. We go down and around. Yeah, this looks right. Jump. Yeah, you can grab a Wii U Pro Controller. The dongle for it is pretty cheap. Worth picking up. Or get an Xbox One controller. I haven't picked one up yet because I'm waiting for them to release the uh, wireless dongle for it. Don't think it's available yet last time I checked. Did I already scan this thing? I think so. Yeah. I did. I took it apart and put it back together and it just the button stopped working. I don't know what the hell the problem is. It's a bummer. Wait, seriously? Oh, that's that's a super bummer. So I gotta like walk back to the main area? No shit. Eh, I guess it's not that far from here. I guess it makes sense that ships flying around carrying this big bomb. Be kinda hard for it to land and pick you up. That's a bummer, man. That's uh that's a bummer. 
we want to go... Let's review the map real quick. We want to cross over to that thing. Mm -hmm. The 360 wireless dongle is like... It's kind of shitty. Like, it gets the job done, but... uh, You have to... You can't really just send one over to a friend and tell him, hey, use this. Like, you have to do this bullshit with it, get the driver to work. It's still a problem to this day. Can make it happen, but it's not trivial. Alright, let's cross. I guess we never went in this door. We can go check it out real quick. It's kind of sort of on the way. Need to get more missiles and you start blowing up stuff that could have missiles in it. Play in Metroid Prime 3 for another 24 minutes before we switch to uh, Legend of Ligaia. Alright, let's see. There yeah, we're going left here. Cool. Legend of Ligaia is 2 to 4, and then 4 to 6 it is Final Fantasy 10. We go get Yojimbo, I think. Energy lock is low on power. Okay, I don't have access to that power up yet. It's the purple power up, I think. Hey, steam bots. Okay, let's just double check. We want to go this way and then up, I think. Or we can just go straight here. Mm-hmm. Oh, they make it a little bit easier for Windows 8. That might be part of it. Okay. Oh. It's always possible? It must have been. Oh, damn it, Samus. Just barely overshoots it. Okay. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Hey, another data bot. Invader. We watched as Elysia fell victim to the meteor's corruption, its phase on beginning to consume her. High above the noxious surface, we continued to collect data on the object. It was not long before we met a new enemy. Space pirates, hostile alien life forms, and sworn enemies of the Federation entered the station and attacked. The pirate forces struck swiftly. The numbers and weapons dwarfing our own. After their initial assault, they began construction of a massive energy shield from the meteor. They refer to the fallen object as a seed and quickly built the protective barrier. Any resistance they met from us was crushed, and the massive shield was built without an eruption. Our attention was turned to the pirates themselves. If we could not stop them through combat, perhaps there was yet another way. Our studies quickly yielded unexpected results. All of the space pirates were corrupted with Phazon. But unlike other life forms, they were actually being sustained by it. This phase on kept them alive and it appeared to control their minds with a will of its own. Pretty sure the whole, like, uh, space pirates being controlled by phase on thing is not the case in the later games. Because this one takes place. This is an interquel between Metroid 1 and all the other Metroid games, I think. It's quite a bit of interaction with space pirates after this. Jump. Nice stabber. <laughs> yeah, Sean. Just ignore the supposed character build freedom. It's not real freedom. There's actually a correct way to build all your characters. Just build them the correct way. Climb up here. Oh, that's another thing that I need to zap, I think. Permanently offline. Great. Half pipe. <laughs> the freedom's a lie. Great. Hey, Ultimo Greninja. How you doing? Good to see ya. I think this is what I want. Gotta get to that question mark. Hold on. Zoom in. Yeah, that looks right. Ouch. 
you can technically dodge that, but... That's true, Sean. They both have black and white magic. Windows 10 is installing itself at the end of this year? Really? Um, what's the what's the verdict from the tech savvy on Windows 10 right now? I'm still holding back with 7. I've had some people tell me they've had issues streaming on Windows 10. So, I'm waiting to the last possible second to upgrade. This is the one we came to originally. Now we can disarm the lock. Dang it, Bobby. Then it just doesn't want to work the way you tell it to. There we go. All right. <laughs> hey, Ultima, I've got a uh, IRC client that shows me joins and parts. I right, should be able to summon it now. Blow seven out of the water now. Cool. Yeah, that's true. I'm usually a late adopter on stuff like that. Um, give them a chance to patch out any of the bugs. It seems like now is a good time to upgrade. <laughs> All right, Dauber. Right. Okay. Hurrying. Okay. Right, that's not too far from here. Thank you, Cappy. Really? Wow, that's a pretty big deal. So I already have 60 frames per second in just about everything I run, but still would be nice. I have a lot of things running at the same time, especially with streaming. Yeah, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big difference. Keep on moving. Okay. Depends on your computer and what all processes you have running in the background. If you already have a pretty lean machine that doesn't have a lot of stuff running all the time, I imagine it'll be less severe of a change. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right. We want to go back across. I think I want to ride up this guy. About 17 minutes left. I think that's plenty of time to go do this next thing and then maybe save after that. Do we drop this bomb? Hey, more missiles. Look at that. I kind of want to call in my gunship just to get an ammo refill and use a lot of missiles. Yeah, we'll hit that save point and we'll go to the spire. Oh yeah, I guess I'm on Windows 7. I never did upgrade to 8. Hmm. There we go. Nice. Uh, let's go straight to the end of the hallway to save. We'll keep crossing over to the spire in the center. What was wrong with search, Cappy? So if you're new to the stream, welcome. I'm Marstead. I'm trying to play through and beat every awesome single player game ever made. 
been through the Metroid series, Final Fantasy, Zelda, doing Mass Effect, Valkyria Chronicles. If that sounds cool to you, check the schedule below the stream to see when we're playing what. Tomorrow's going to be some Mario Maker and Smash Brothers, for instance. Also, if you're just here for Metroid, it will be back. We typically play Metroid games on Mondays and Tuesdays. Keep an eye on the schedule and pop in when you want to check it out. Oh, that was your upgrade path? Oh, gotcha. That's pretty frustrating, Cappy. Remember my uh, search function in Outlook that I had at my job would prioritize emails like based on how old they were rather than how new they were? So whenever I'd search for an email, it would start by looking like five years ago. Search effectively became useless to me unless if I deleted my emails all the time. Which I had a legal obligation not to do, apparently. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Metro screen was the... This is intended for, um... Touch screens, right? That's why people weren't so happy about it. I guess Windows 10 is... You can kind of flip between whether it's... Touch mode or... Desktop mode. That's right behind us. Our plan? Is it like the royal we? <laughs> yeah, cool, Ultima. Chunk. It was funny, we kept getting these emails from our legal department saying, never delete your emails. And then I also kept getting emails that were from the IT department saying, you have too many emails and you need to delete some because you're using up too much space. <laughs> it's like, which do I do? Ah, oh, that's cool, Cappy. What's up, brain robot? Thanks, brain robot. Cool. Are you really going to give me a yes versus no? Maybe the yes versus no determines, puts me on like a can't turn back path. <laughs> All right, Sean. Thou must. Someone wants to link the relevant TV Tropes article about false choice in RPGs, <laughs> video games in general. All about mortal danger. My middle name, Samus Mortal Danger Aaron. <laughs> Wait, so I can just fly there now, right? Am I understanding that correctly? I think that's correct. Drop the bomb, you will have to move the bomb and directly power us. I mean. Don't think it's marked on the map. I go back to where the spire was, but that's that was here. I can't cross this thing, although I could try, maybe because I have my ship over on that side. Maybe I can do some screw attack nonsense. Oh nice. Gotta have your control C, control V. Whoa. Ha 
Sorry, Sean. It usually works pretty well when the map is, uh, like, fairly spread out, but you're not always that lucky. This might actually be it here. Yeah, here we go. Down we go. Let's ride this bomb down. That sounds like a great plan. Yeah, exactly, Dauber. Real pain in the ass. We might run a little bit over time with Metroid today, just because the save points aren't are pretty sparsely populated. Um, I'll see if there's a save right when we land here. We're going for about nine more minutes before we switch to Legend of Gaia, and then Final Fantasy X today is from four to six Pacific. Cool. Sounds good. Bunch of enemy waves. You're pretty sparsely populated. Hey, these guys. Oh, shoot. I was hoping I wasn't going to have a health bar. Keep zapping them with my super moves. Who else is out here? There's another thingy. Let's go shoot it to death. Where's all the other dudes? Hey, dude. Chill out. More missiles, always a fan of that. Okay, I do have a radar that shows me the big enemies. Come on, lion ship. Oh, okay, can't cancel hyper mode. Great. Yeah, Godspeed. <laughs> what are the pre-order bonuses, just out of curiosity? Come on, where's the ship? Can't cancel hyper mode. Crap, I need to shoot this as fast as I can. Where's the rest of the dudes? There's tons of dudes up here. Doing okay, I think, so far. I don't know how long we have to hold out. Try to get some health back before I keep using the ability here. Oh, this guy needs to be shot with this, okay. That's why he was hitting me so hard. Got it. Any more... 
big ships out there? There is one. Kaboom! Alright, I think we're okay. What's the criticism on the dialogue system? I haven't seen much of that. I didn't know that they really changed anything. <laughs> this has given you enough quality products, giving at least two blind faith chances. That seems very fair. There we go. Oh right, this is going to take us to that landing thing that we set up a long time ago. Getting out of dodge. I'm okay with the protagonist speaking if you're picking options like that. God, I gotta fix it. Come on. I think that's just a little bit stressful. How far down is the repair area? Oh god. Great. Fixed. Another one down here we gotta fix? Probably. Not yet. Gate appears fragile. Pull! There you go. Oh, come on. There you go. Go, 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 go! Being low on health is a little stressful too, right? Safety shutter is locked. Come on, grab onto it. Oh my god, Samus. There you go. I think we're gonna end up having plenty of time remaining, but... I do make it worrisome. It's all of them, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Up we go. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. All right. <laughs> right. You play Minecraft long enough. Don't really need structure to enjoy a game anymore. Yeah, usually they'll do a preload. Like, uh, Nintendo does that. They'll let you pre-download it like the night before and then it just becomes playable at midnight. I don't know if that's still an issue with modern games. I had roommates who were really into um, Bethesda games, so most of my consumption of those titles came from my roommates playing them a lot whenever I went in the basement. Universe Sandbox 2 is pretty cool. You can support a cool, like, astrophysics project. On the relatively cheap. Right. Rockin'. Please? Haha, <laughs> nice, Spikey. I think I can just fly there at the ship now. Alright, so we want to go back to my ship, which fortunately is super close. Look at that, we're not even going to run over time that late. Might just be a minute or two. 
should go straight up to my ship, I think. Or straight down to my ship. One of the two. Heal up, get all my uh, missiles back. It's going to be great. It was a really cool idea for them to include ship upgrades in this. As a way to progress around the map. Samus's ship is mostly just a set piece in all the other games. It's there when you first start the level, and sometimes you can come back to it. Right, after the save here, I'm going to throw up the BRB and step away for a few minutes to get Legend of the Gaia set up. And we'll get going. So if you're just here for Metroid, we look forward to seeing you next week, Monday and Tuesday, when it will return. After we be Metroid Prime 3, we'll be starting up Metroid Zero Mission. Um, Metroids are typically a Monday, Tuesday affair. Other than that, on the schedule for today, we've got Legend of the Gaia and Final Fantasy X, with some Mass Effect and Valkyria Chronicles coming up later this week, along with some Smash Brothers and Mario Maker. Um, we'll be back in three minutes or so for Legend of the Gaia. See you soon.